everything we know about the lionfish population here is devastating. It is an underwater forest fire and it's wiping the area out. They are actually very harmful for the environment. They eat up all the fishes around the coral reef, so it actually kills the coral reef and it affects the food chain of the ocean. One of the reasons they're a large problem is because they're under the ocean, so not a lot of people can see it. So it's hard to put a finger on the issue because the only people that are seeing them are divers. Our passion is diving. We love to dive, but we hunt lionfish on every dive that we do. We understand the problem. It is a significant problem. Every dive that we go on, we're, we're trying to catch lionfish. We try to work very closely with our suppliers to optimize whatever sustainable solution there is. We started to talk to some of them on something called a regenerative sustainability, which is trying to find species that are bad for the environment and how we can repurpose them. We developed an app that tracks uh, lionfish catches from around the world. We're in about 30 countries right now. So that gives us some really good data for hotspots and where there's problems. And we also, uh, we're working on a comic book, we have a podcast, you know, and we have this thing called a, a submarine. The mission of the sub now is to go from 100 to 300 feet long distances and map out the populations of lionfish. We kind of fill in the blanks where the science community is not working. I'm kind of new to the game. I learned about it only a few years ago and it really affected me in a way that I sold my business. My full-time work is now the nonprofit to try to find better solutions. I started up about uh, six years ago to introduce spearfishing in a sustainable way to guests that come down from all over the world. And more importantly, to address the lionfish invasion that we have throughout the Caribbean and the Keys. When lionfish became a big problem in the Caribbean, business was also developed to help um, introduce sustainable um, removal efforts and be a part of the lionfish tournaments and just do everything we can to help. Divers can only catch them at a certain level. What's nice about the area in the Keys here is they're starting, the numbers are starting to come down because divers know how bad they are and everyone's getting involved. The sad part is if you stop doing it, the lionfish come back and we still have the problem. What's really challenging about lionfish is because they live in the coral reef, divers cannot use nets and they need to catch them one by one and being super careful not to damage the coral reef. We use lionfish to help the environment. We don't throw away the skins, we convert them in product, whether it's shoes like P448 or jewelry or small accessories. We produce devices to capture the lionfish. They're primarily for diver safety, so they're less likely to get stung by the lionfish. The folks that don't use zookeepers try to trim the, the spines off the lionfish underwater to keep from getting stung, and more times than not, they end up getting stung trying to do that. So when we get our fish back to the dock, we clean them. Um, there's a number of restaurants that'll take them whole and do a whole fried preparation. Many of restaurants have them as specials. I think we're a little bit different than a lot of the other restaurants with uh, us handling the lionfish. It's not something that you'll see at other places. We're environmentally friendly. We do sustainable seafood. When they approached us on the lionfish, it was a perfect fit for us. Of course, we wanted to do something to, uh, to give back and actually be part of the community and, and work on that problem. We just found out about the, the tennis shoes, actually. I didn't realize that, <laughs> that there was a high-end uh, shoe company that actually, actually using the, the lionfish leathers. Wow. Outstanding. Wow, what, a, what a great use for the leather. So far, lionfish was used in the food commercialization, and by bringing in an added value, like fashion, we think it, it brings a different and a bigger incentive for divers, so it actually helps the environment, continues helping the food chain, and helps uh, fashion in a very sustainable way. I've heard time and time again from some technical divers that can go to 200 feet and occasionally 300 feet, there are more fish out of sight than are in sight at shallower depths. And that's a serious problem because these are all breeders. So I can start collecting data on this and give it away for free. 
and collect lionfish and sustain the effort. If we were to focus on this one animal and reduce the population, everybody around the circle wins. You only lose if you do nothing.